Capricorn, don't get frustrated with the process or the negotiations or the delays because everything you want is coming. We have lovers, we have three of cups, we got the queen of fucking coins. Like, this bitch is lit. She's got her or his uh, finances secured, stable. Like, there's a focus on the home. Some of you may be renovating or just spring cleaning, buying a new home, moving to a new space, especially with the tower card here. We're, tower card, sorry, upright. And we've got the hierophant here. Like, you have these new contracts, agreements, commitments. Like everything will work out for you, but you can't force it. You can't rush it. And we have Mercury going retrograde towards the end of May. So like you definitely don't want to um, force something, okay? You want to just go with the flow. And I know the Capricorn is like, bitch, I'm a boss. I'm not just going to go with the flow. I'm going to make the flow happen. It's like, no, bitch. You're going to want to slow it right down. Just slow it down a little bit, okay? With the King of Swords here reversed. And we've got the Three of Coins reversed. And you've got the Hangman Reverse. I feel like some people are maybe hiding information or maybe you are thinking about an exit strategy or you're changing your plan, but you don't want to tell everyone or you shouldn't tell everyone. With the Three of Coins Reverse, I think there's a team here that you're like, I need to disengage. I feel like y'all are lying or someone involved, there could be a lawyer needed also, but there's something here that's like a hidden motive or a hidden um, agenda or something. So like whatever you feel, trust yourself more than just trusting other people and what they're saying. It's like, oh, okay, I'm just tricking me. Like, no, bitch, you are not getting played. You are not getting tricked. You're a Capricorn, you're gonna boss up and you're gonna say no when you need to say no. Why? Because six of wands is going to bring success when you say no, okay? When you find that some people are not trustworthy, cut them off, clear them out. If you need to, you know, give them a second chance, whatever, that's up to you. But like, I have a 10 of wands here. I feel like some of you just want to continue working with some people or working on a project because you feel um, obligated or you feel like it's your responsibility. You just have to go for it. But like, really think about that because I also have the Eight of Swords here. So I think you're just stressing yourself out. I think you can find more um, grounding. I think you can find more balance. I think you can find more to celebrate and better connections, better commitments, agreements, discussions, better collaborations, partnerships. Some of you um, thinking about leaving a relationship, but you're like, Ugh, letters L, M. Um, I just, this seven of wands reverse, and you've got this page of wands reverse with the star reverse. Some of y'all are just over it. You're like, I fucking give up. It's like, I have tried and tried and tried to make this work, or I'm continuing to try and try and try. And I notice that you're just not giving me the same effort back. It's just not there. So like, and that doesn't need to be love only. That also for work. Like, I just feel like there's a little bit of a disappointment here with someone you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. Um, I also have Taurus here. We have Scorpio, Gemini. There's a lot of players on the table. But someone either lost their interest or they're not um, as sparked and excited to continue doing something. I don't think that you need to commit to something that you don't want to do. If you feel like you want to disengage, you can change your mind. Maybe some of you feel connected to this because there's like an actual formal agreement or something, but like figuring out how to make your exit plan um, and then maybe taking action uh, in a little bit. Yeah, because again, we have Mercury going retrograde. So especially with this temperance card here, you're going to want to just go with the flow. But that means like flowing with what you're feeling also, right? Because like, you don't want to say, oh, well, I signed up for this and I fucking hate it. I fucking hate these people and everyone's, everyone's lazy. I mean, compared to a Capricorn, everyone's lazy. Let's be real. <laughs> but like, it's just like, oh, but I committed, so I'll stay. 
don't, don't stay, don't, you know, invest your time, energy, money into this cycle if you know it's just, it's not good for you. It's not benefiting you, disengage. Why? Because you got the Empress, you got the fucking Four of Wands, you got the Nine of Swords. So when you decide to make that change, when you decide to allow this new perspective to integrate and move forward, you're going to find more balance. And also feeling like this, again, is connected to that Earth energy with the Queen of Coins, you need a break. You just need to take a fucking rest. You need to chill, slow down, take a rest. Especially now, it's Taurus season. Boom, Taurus season, Taurus energy. Some of you, if you can, um, if you can actually go do it, because I know lockdown and whatever, but if you can get out for like a short vacation, sorry, there's a truck outside, it's time for some of you to just take out the trash, you know what I mean? But like this Empress, I feel like some of you just need to go out shopping or like do your hair, like do something before May 16th because like after that Mercury retrograde, not the best time to be like traveling or like making a big decision about maybe how you look or whatever. But my point is with the four of wands here, do something that makes you feel like you're taking a break, enjoying yourself, connecting with family or friends who just really understand you and you want to support each other and just have fun because this overall is just a fun, laid back, chill energy. And that I think is really important for you to clear out all these old uh, projects, things. This is five of coins reverse. So like, I also feel like some of you getting your finances in check. There's a lot of money coming your way, a lot of opportunity for more money, um, collaborations, etc. But with the five of coins reverse, it's like, I don't need to be broke. Bitch, I'm not broke. Why do I still have these old broke ideas or broke perspectives stuck to me? Because maybe they're from childhood or you grew up or maybe you just struggled for a long time, but now things look like they will be or they already are easier. Financially, there's more opportunities coming. And when you're in that mindset, when you're saying, I am abundant, I have money, I deserve money, that's when you are feeling that energy. And then you feel that emotion emotion, energy in motion. So it's like when you feel that emotion, you attract more of that kind of energy. So fake it till you make it. You know what I mean? Even if you're not feeling amazing, go out and buy yourself something small, something cute. It's just like, it doesn't need to be expensive, but you need to feel good about yourself because you will radiate that energy and attract more of what will make you feel that good. This is new people. These are also people, sorry, these are also people who I think will be taking on their like fair share of work. It's not going to be like they're dumping everything on you and you're like, oh, because they know that you're a goat. They know that you can fucking boss up and do everything for them and they're relying on you for that. It's like, no, that kind of person, clear that out. You don't need that like desperate uh, energy around you. You need boss ass bitch energy around you. And that is what's going to make you vibe better and attract more opportunities, which is coming because you've got the ace of fucking cups here with the seven of coins, with the wheel of fucking fortune. Wheel of fortune. Yep, seven of coins. See all that money? This is all growing for you, okay? I would say it's delayed because we're also going to start a Mercury retrograde and I think that goes like fully through June. So like by the time July arrives, let's say like mid July, which sounds far, it's not really far, okay? It'll be quick. But like July, you'll have way more clarity about who you wanna continue collaborating with, who you're ready to let go of, um, what plans, structures, and opportunities are on their way. Ace of Cups says new and even more opportunities on the way. And you've got a Three of Swords here reverse with a Five of Swords reverse, a Two of Swords reverse, and a Ten of Swords. So, you are healing. You are actually letting go of these old programs, of these old ideas, of this old bullshit that you've been believing about yourself or about other people for a long time. You thinking that you don't deserve more than you already have. You may be settling for less. You thinking, for some of you, just being in the wrong relationship, dealing with the wrong people. Aquarius coming through. We've also got Scorpio energy coming through. You've got Five of Cups reverse, Four of Cups reverse, Three of Wands reverse. It's like, 
Y'all have been struggling with either romance or just trying to figure out who you really want to be collaborating with because other people are not equally giving and taking. And it's like, you're fucking done. You've learned that lesson. You've mastered that experience. You are ready to level up and to accept new, better relationships, new, better people, collaborations, work, effort, etc. into your life. You don't need this lame ass, like, loser bullshit. Like, you've got magician here. You've got four of swords reverse. Sorry, four of swords upright, magician reverse. Some of you, okay, I'm hearing let them talk. So for some of you, if you're feeling negotiations or discussions or whatever, uh, it could even just be romance, but it's like, ask a question and let them talk. And then don't support it. Don't like pull more, just like let them keep talking. See what keeps coming up. I'm also feeling like you just need to observe. With the magician reverse, I feel like you've been trying to manifest so much over the last while and a lot of things have been showing up or they're already starting to grow as the seven of coins showed us before but you've got oh bitch ten of coins and a page of cups this is exactly what i'm talking about this is exactly what i was just talking about you have opportunity ten of coins to find real big fucking abundance, money, opportunity, expansion. This is long-term success. This is like, like this is like millionaire status. Like you are leveling up. This is big fucking income, okay? But you can't get that from a person who is lying or tricking you about their skill set or about their offer or about, you know, their shitty sort of like low ball. It's like this motherfucker, that motherfucker is not going to give you all of the money and all of the abundance that you deserve. But maybe you don't see that. Maybe you don't know that yet. Mercury retrograde is going to bring that information forward, I promise. Or it's going to steer you in the right direction, who to look at, who to observe, who to review. Some emails also for some of you, you need to go back and double check your email. Letter um, M is coming through. I just signed L, so maybe an L also. Um, there's a P too. Now, why did I do that? Okay, we're just gonna switch this. I'm hearing, so we're switching it. You've got, yeah, oh yeah. We're cutting through the bullshit. You are cutting through the bullshit. You are finding all the bullshit and you are clearing it out. This page of pentacles, you're going to have better clarity after this Mercury retrograde with the seven of cups reversed. I feel like there's a lot of questions. I feel like there's maybe a lot of um, options that are coming. Some of you are feeling like your options are dwindling, but it's fine because that's just the energy being released and it's going to invite in more opportunities and more options later on. And you have that page of coins. Like this is someone who can actually support your vision. Like not this motherfucker. Look at this. Like this guy's an asshole. This guy really knows what's up. He's ready to work hard. He's willing to support, etc. But you don't have that person maybe in the picture yet. Or for some of you, you already know that person, but you don't know that that's the person who is going to like really support your vision. So you've got this nine of cups here. So the nine of cups, 10 of coins, like this combination is fucking badass. This is badass. You will find all of the satisfaction. This is like more than enough for yourself and you can share with other people. This is a fucking killer combination, but you're not gonna get that from some like low ball fucking peasant who's like, oh, like, I can do this here. And you're just like, bitch, are you lying on your, on your resume? It's like, are you tricking me because you can trick other people? Well, like I'm a Capricorn, so like I'm gonna smell that bullshit and boom, found it, kick him out. You know what I mean? You've got King of Wands here reversed. We've got, yeah, Two of Wands, Knight of Coins reversed. Like you have these new collaborations, partnerships. Some of you um, romantic partners, of course, but like I don't think that you know where that's coming from yet. And if you try to decide on something, you know, today or like in June for sure, or in the last two weeks of May, I think later you're gonna be like, shit, oh God, why did I do that? Or why did I like fall for the wrong person? Or why did I like accept that low ball offer? I could have gotten more here. So like, I just slow down, chill, take the time to review, reassess, reflect, 
reimagine what you really want because what you really want is also changing day by day. So like, I think just chill, babe, slow down. Focus on the release. We're moving into eclipse season. We just had the last full moon in Scorpio, literally like last week or something. So like click on the link in my bio, take the full moon workshop. I will help you clear out all of the bullshit so you can accept in more abundance in like a month and a half. Okay. I love you. Tag your friends, share on your Instagram.